I don't know if y'all have noticed or not, but no one has any new ideas anymore. Harry Potter TV show, Twilight TV show, Fast and Furious 11? <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me right now? But you know what's been on no one's mind for like 20 years? Power Rangers. But hey, they brought back Sharkboy and Lava Girl for We Can Be Heroes, and they're making a new Spy Kids movie, but like, who's been waiting for a Power Rangers season one update? You know what I'm saying? Well, Netflix is sure banking on this soft reboot here with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, colon, once and always. But I'll admit, I was a little bit curious, okay? I wanted to check it out. So come along, fellow depressed millennials, let's take a walk. But before that, really quick, this video is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Now, obviously you all know what Raid is, right? It's a really pretty RPG for smartphones and PC lets you explore millions of champion combinations and strategies as you fight raid bosses, dungeon runs, do campaign battles, there's a PvP arena, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do in raid, okay? Now, one thing raid wants me to do today is tell you which four of their champions I would like to have dinner with. Now, the easy answer is, uh, any of these guys. Cause, like, you know they ain't eating nothing, okay? More for me, you know what I'm saying? Or I guess probably I'd go with, like, uh, Venus, Madame Ceres, Luria, and Corpse Collector, mainly because I, uh... I have a very particular set of interests. But uh, that's just me. The beauty of this game is that you can mix and match your own party of any of these champions in any way you want. Also get this, in April, Raid is going on a dragon egg hunt. Just download Raid Shadow Legends using the link below, copy your in-game player ID, and then head over to egghunt.plarium.com from April 14th to May 15th. Enter your player ID and then journey through the flaming portal, cause you know, th there's always one of those, and embark on this really cool AR adventure. You can scour the dragon's lair using your phone, and if you happen to find an egg, you're gonna be entered in for a chance to win some really cool in-game items and even real life prizes ranging from a legendary raid champion to Amazon gift cards with a total value of $20,000. Now this event is for new players, but existing raid players can also get some cool stuff as well. Okay, you just go to egghunt.plarium.com and you'll find a special promo code that everyone can use to get some nice little in-game gifts. So if you've ever wanted to check out raid, there's no better time than right now. Okay, use my link in the description or scan the QR code you see right here on the screen and you get some really cool new player bonuses like epic champion Talia and a bunch of other stuff. So again, click my link down below or scan this QR code right here on the screen and start playing some Raid Shadow Legends today. Okay, back to the show. One fateful day in 1993, the evil sorceress Rita Repulsa escaped her space dumpster prison <laughs> and attacked Earth. Five teenagers with attitude had their lives changed forever. Son, quick, get up! It's time to save the world! Shut up, you're not my real dad! <laughs> Any last words? It's Morphin Time! Triceratops! <laughs> Just, just really selling the urgency here, aren't you? So the rangers are once again fighting Rita Repulsa for some mysterious reason. Because like, as I recall, Zordon sacrificed himself to destroy the evil energy inside Rita or whatever. So, oh boy, sure glad that was all for nothing, huh? Oh, you brought friends. Now it's a reunion. Got your distress call and zipped here as fast as we could. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> Man, that's Rita Repulsa? The robot look is not for her. Oh, she's she's a evil robot now. Also, this new Rita kind of like, like, she's got some knockers, my dude. But anyway, just when it looks like the rangers are about to win, one thing leads to another, and the yellow ranger gets vaporized into nothing. And this leads into the main story of the movie, which is about dealing with the death of the yellow ranger, which coincides with the real life passing of Twee Trang, the actress who was the original yellow ranger back in like the 90s. And so Zack and Billy have to think of what to tell her daughter now that Rita has killed her mom. Cause like, how could you possibly explain this to anyone? So what are we gonna tell her? Maybe their mom drowned? No. No, Min's too smart for that. Well, we gotta decide something quick because school is out. Yeah, that really sucks and it's really unfortunate and everything, but like more importantly, take your gosh darn shoes off! I mean, take them off anyway, but like, this is the Quan household? Literally read the room, guys. Anyway, so as they're talking about all this, Min, the aforementioned teenage daughter, overhears everything they're saying because they're just talking so friggin' loud and standing so very normal. Now, we have to tell her the truth, otherwise how is she gonna get closure? She's a kid. She's a kid, Billy. She doesn't need to know that we're Power Rangers. She needs to know that Rita Repulsa killed her mom. Also, you know, slight tangent here, but like, why does Zack look like he's aged about six months and 30 years? Like, what kind of Cthulhu demon did you make a pact with? Anyway, so they end up having to tell her about the whole like being a Power Ranger thing, and then we skip ahead one year. Yeah, 
you know, there's always someone like this whenever I'm at the park trying to like walk my dog and they're just over there fighting like 50 invisible ninjas, you know? Like, can I just go around you, please? Anyway, so after this, Zack and Min head down to the cemetery for the one year anniversary of Min's mom's death. And you'll never guess who happens to show up and do a bunch of very inconvenient things. Dragon sword! Is it me or did that Come something? On. Before we begin, I just want to say, unhappy anniversary! <laughs> just, no, just, just, just right there in the cemetery. And as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear- Pterodactyl! Tyrannosaurus! That one dude with the neck from Land Before Time! So, Rita's back, after giving everyone some space over the last year, cause you know, she follows Voldemort rules, where like, no matter what, you never ever interrupt anyone's uh, seasonal vacations or emotional grieving periods. Before we begin, I just want to say, unhappy anniversary, Rangers! That's Robo Rita, isn't it? <laughs> yes, Min. Yes, it is. Now, Min wants to jump in there and fight, because, you know, she just spent the whole last year grunting her way around every park in the city. But she has to stay behind while Zack jumps in to save his friends. And no! yeah! Zack is back! In black! <laughs> what? No sorry I'm late? Yeah, screw you, Harvey! So Rita uses this new special whatever this is to capture the Power Rangers and transform them into action figures. <laughs> like, like literally, actually, that's what happens. You think you can do better against my new power? No! No chance! Like fish in a barrel! Like virtual boys in a bargain bin. And so with no other option, Billy and Zack retreat and they take Min in their car thing that flies. Cause of course, of course it flies. I mean, like, why, why am I, why am I even surprised? So I guess this is like why the movie's really only about Zack and Billy. Cause like the other three get turned into action figures so Rita can milk their ranger power. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, well, that, that sounded way better in my head until it came out of my face. Rita Repulsa's Ranger Milk. So I guess no one else wanted to come back for this movie, huh? Oh, sure, right, because you're all just so busy. Like, what about Jason, the Red Ranger, huh? Like, what are you even doing these days? Oh, oh, okay, never, <laughs> never mind, I see it now. Well, they could have at least gotten Tommy, the Green Ranger, right? I mean, come on, he's got to be, oh. Oh, I wish I hadn't looked that up. Uh... Kimberly? Oh, okay, okay, she just wanted more money. <laughs> That's... All right, moving on. Anyway, so after escaping, Zack and Billy try to figure out what to do next while Rita's just taking over the world one Toys R Us at a time. Something that uses our power made by Rita Repulsa? That's a bad mix, and if we don't put a stop to it, I don't think they're gonna make it. Then we gotta destroy her. We? Yeah. Look, this is Ranger business, not teenage girl that has homework due business, okay? Excuse me? My dude, you were like 17, fighting off putty monsters wearing a vest that looks like my grandma's couch, okay? Don't even start with me right now. And Billy, clearly you have no idea what to do with your hands. I mean, come on, who stands like this? Both of you need as much help as you can get. That's all I'm saying. Look, the best thing that you can do for everyone is just to stay out of trouble and, and let us sort this out. Says the guy who caused all this. We all know that if it wasn't for you, my mom would still be here. It stung, huh? Good. Teenagers with attitude. Now, while this is all going on, Rita is back on the moon and realizes she needs more Power Ranger milk for her machine thing that does stuff. This process is too slow. We need as many Rangers as we can get. Good thing I know exactly what draws out a Power Ranger. A paycheck. So after this, we kind of get a better idea of what Min was talking about earlier, in that Billy was apparently trying to resurrect Zordon, but he accidentally tapped into Rita's, like, evil soul energy or something, and that flew into the Alpha 8 robot and transformed into Robo Rita. Obviously, right? Come on, follow along, everybody. So in a way, like, yeah, Robo Rita killing Min's mom was kind of, sort of, Billy's fault, kind of, not really, but sure. Yes! <laughs> after all these years, I'm free! It's time for revenge! No. No, it, it can't be. Hey, do you guys think maybe I should uh, try that again with a little more emotion this time? No, no, it's all good. One take is fine. We're moving on. So now that Rita's back and her putties are just wreaking havoc all over the world, it's time to call together all the Rangers throughout all time for one final showdown with... What exactly is Rita, anyway? One minute, I'm helping out at JJ's junior karate camp, and the next, I'm sneaking off to the bathroom to teleport. Ugh. Come on, guys. Rita is back. So Tommy, Jason, Kim are fighting her? No. 
Really? That's it? No one else wanted to do this movie? Not even Andrew from Bling Empire? Come on, what are you even up to these days? How's that panda vs. aliens going for you, huh? We made these proxy power coins as a contingency. Now all of you can use dino powers. Well, duplicating active powers is very dangerous. I don't care how dangerous too much pink energy is. Once a ranger, always a ranger. Yeah, you hear that, Andrew? Huh? And so now that they have a red and pink ranger from some other Sentai team, it's time for them to very calmly jump into action while the world is just being terrorized by these Play-Doh robots. All right, first up, there's been injuries reported already in Angel Grove. We cannot let the putties run rampant any longer. Yeah, boy. Whew, boy, really getting that sense of urgency here, guys. And so they all transform into Power Rangers using their respective spirit energy sources. But of course, now that they're all like 45, you know, it's kind of like diabetes medicine, Lexapro, Icy Hot Patch, Fiber Pills for my cholesterol. And also somehow magically when they transform, everyone loses like 30 pounds. <laughs> I mean, this is not the same dude. Not an ounce of cake on this man. How do they do it? <laughs> Hey! <laughs> it's just this dude just murdered this guy. <laughs> Anyway, so while this is all happening, Min is out here defending the local dispensary, or like whatever this is, and for some mysterious reason, she can't use her mom's morpher to transform no matter how hard she tries. You guys are in for a treat. It's Morphin time! Sabertooth Tiger! <laughs> You know, I feel like this is probably kind of what it's like when, like, you're a girl at, like, any music festival. Oh boy, I can't wait to listen to my favorite band play live while dressed in this cute outfit I put together. Snapchat, Snapchat, what's that? Snapchat, what's that? What's that? But right at the last second, Zack and the Red Ranger guy show up to save the day. Messing with this place was a big mistake. <laughs> Yeah! Time for hip-hop keto! <sighs> this is time for hip-hop keto, everybody. Sure, whatever you say, Zach. And so they save the teenage girl from these guys who are all like, <laughs> you're really mature for your age. Awesome place! Who knew Cranston Tech was hiding all this? Not the public, and not my employees. This place is secret, so let's uh, keep it that way, okay? Teenagers with attitude! I am! I'm sorry, Alpha. Can we have the room? No problem, Zack. My sensors are detecting a vibe. <laughs> oh, we got memes, everybody. They're, they're doing the May Mays. What do you think it means to be a ranger? Kicking butt? Two quips? Having fun? But someone needs to draw justice on the bad guys. Rita killed Mom. She needs to go down. What you feeling, what you want, it's not justice, it's revenge. Okay, like, I get what you're saying here about the whole cycle of violence and revenge and all that, but like, these are like robots though? Like, Min's not gonna end up killing anyone. This is literally a robot, like, who cares? Do what you gotta do, Min. Anyway, so the Rangers enact a plan to distract Rita while they sneak into her totally secret moon palace and destroy her action figure power machine thing. Snizzard created these snakes. What does your scanner say? My readings show that their energy is connected to our friends. <laughs> just, I'm sorry, can we just play back that masterpiece of a scene right there? My readings show that their energy is connected to our friends. Like, okay, I mean, sure, Power Rangers was very cheesy. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but like, this movie is clearly made for adults, right? Like, no seven-year-old wants to watch a movie about Power Rangers who are all pushing 50, you know what I mean? This is for people my age, okay? So like, why did they make it like this? I mean, this could have been like very sort of self-aware, tongue-in-cheek, kind of like Deadpool or Sky High or something like that, right? But they just made it exactly like a regular episode of Power Rangers ripped straight from 1992. Like, no one who has nostalgia for the original Power Rangers wants to see these people do an serious. Like, it's corny enough as it is, okay? You might as well have at least had some fun with it, you know what I'm saying? Rita's trying to contact her younger self. But why? So many reasons. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mid A Rita reunion? And then some scheme to conquer the galaxy? I'll pass through this portal and give years of knowledge to my younger self. 
Like, always wear sunscreen and, and don't even bother packing those five books in your suitcase for a weekend trip because, like, seriously, who am I trying to impress? So long story short, Min gets blasted by Rita and that activates her Power Ranger Morpher thing so now she can turn into the Yellow Ranger, which is kind of sort of a little bit on the nose there, don't you think? And then Rita turns one of her dudes into, like, a kaiju so the Rangers have to call forth their Zords to form the Megazord with the greatest CG I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh. Oh, wow. This movie also has the budget of 1992. <laughs> this is like Sharkboy Lava Girl level of special effects, right? <laughs> oh. This is the greatest movie of all time. And so in the end, Zack shoots Rita with like a machine gun. <laughs> And and there and then the universe is saved. Min is the new Yellow Ranger, and now she gets to fight the forces of evil alongside all these adults and their tummies. Look at you. You've missed the travel, haven't you? It is nice to have something new to focus on. But once the equations get everyone back to normal size and back in action, all of this will be over. But I'm ready to get back to JJ. Being a parent is almost as challenging as being a ranger. Like I said, I'm just a little confused about who this was for exactly, because like, I get the whole nostalgia thing, especially for 2023, when that's literally all we have going for us. But then like, they made this like it was for kids? And I mean like, we had a Power Rangers movie back in like 2017, which was fine, I guess. I mean, oh, I mean, you know, it did have Naomi Scott in it, so instant 10 out of 10 for me. But like, who is this for exactly? Like, who's been waiting for this? To be fair, it was a nice send off for Twee Trang, and I mean like, I'm sure it was really fun for them to make it. If I had the chance to be a Power Ranger or reprise my role as a Power Ranger, whatever, like, and get a nice little paycheck, I mean, sure, I'd do it. Unlike some people! But just, like, as a movie in and of itself, right? Divorced from nostalgia. Just, like, this was... <laughs> it's, this was the most bizarre thing I've seen in a long time. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell. Leave a like, leave a comment, all that stuff. Send me an email at alexmyerscontact at gmail.com and let me know what movies or TV shows you think I should check out next. And above all, tell everybody have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.